welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a guess the plot with two people who don't know anything really about the books I read so we'll see how this goes. We'll tally up all the points at the end and see who wins. <laughs> Okay, so the first. Oh, we're all, we're just into we're it. We're all into it. The first okay. book is Ready? Roar. So you guys can't read the oh, back. You just start look, explaining. You just look at the cover. You guess first. You can guess first. You just like look at the cover mm -hmm. and then. Wait, you didn't even introduce us. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have my two roommates here with Emma and Yvonne. So... It's Evan. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so we'll get started. You can start. This is Roar. You can talk a little bit about it. This is Roar. Roar. What do you think it's about? Um, I'm really thinking it's a memoir of Katy Perry. <laughs> 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 Katy Perry. Um, how's the song even go? And this on the you're back, I got you. You're gonna hear me roar. <laughs> I'm gonna get and copyright. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, what do you think that's her guess. It's a memoir of Katy Perry. Uh, you know where to go from here. Am I allowed to like, look yeah, at the cover? Yeah, you can look at the cover. That's, I, that's um, what really came to my mind. Look, it gives you such a big hand with the I little... I don't... Okay, I'm so... I'm reading them, I don't know. Initially, but... looking at it, there's this girl, so I'm assuming it's about her. Um, Roar, that seems fire to me, so probably some sort of elemental magic. Um... <laughs> I would assume she's like fire or whatever, but then there's also like earth and water going around, so I don't really know. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> Just hold on. No, 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 I'm still thinking. Um, <laughs> someone probably dies. Um, <laughs> Get <rebuffed. laughs> um, Do you have any more guesses? Or? She's fighting something um, in a land ruled. Am I allowed <laughs> to read this? <laughs> Well, might as well. It's on the front cover. Oh, so Wish the world's the harder. world's ruled by violent magical storms, but she probably has to like destroy something to like make them settle down. You or told something. me about this book. She probably... <laughs> I knew the plot of it. She has to like destroy something that makes them. Um, she probably is like a gem or something or like a machine, but I don't know. It doesn't look very machinery okay. based. That's your guess. Okay. Well. Yeah. The point will have to go to Yvonne, obviously, because it is obviously not a memoir of Katy Perry's life. So basically, Does Katy Perry even exist actually, anymore? Roar is her name. Aurora, she shortens it Roar. She runs away, so she's the princess. Mm -hmm. oh. But she runs away because she doesn't actually have powers, and she finds out that she actually does. Um, and it's basically controlling storms. You reach in the eye, and then you get the, like, the power or whatever like to the control eye of them. The storm? Yeah. But what? it's actually people's souls, and she's like one of the more powerful people, but she doesn't realize that for a while. But anyway, yeah, Yvonne gets the point. <laughs> Do I like hold the book? Is this the point? If you want to. <laughs> okay, so the next one is... Okay, don't be so aggressive <laughs> with my books. <laughs> so the next one is The Bone Crier's Moon. So Do I get a really guess first? Yeah. Um, they fall in love. Or they're siblings, but they probably <laughs> fall in love. I don't know. <laughs> Shadow hunters, they could do both. Um... I don't know, they like, there's a sword, they both have swords, I don't know, they fight and they fall in love. Okay. <laughs> so what is it called? Bro Bone, Bone Cryers, Cryers Moon. Moon. So I think they're like angel warriors that fight the apocalypse, which are bone crawlers, oh, and they delicious. come out yeah. during the blue moon. <laughs> Why blue moon? I don't even like... know who to give that to. Oh, I didn't even read the title. I just ignored that. I was just looking at them. Do you want to add to your guess? No. And they fall in love. <laughs> okay, so I don't really know who to give this to. So basically, um, in this world, like once you kill an animal, you get like you get like their grace. <laughs> Is that Sam? No, that's Rice and Pharaoh. But anyway, you kill you kill an animal, you get their grace. If you kill like a shark, you get like the agility and stuff. So in the book, once you have so do people just run around killing every I mean, animal? Ever? Basically, it's like it's like a task. Yeah, and then um, once That's you find your <laughs> stop. <laughs> 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 once you find your soulmate, the girl actually um has to kill him. So they like lure him onto a bridge like with their song, and then they have to kill him. And basically, why? Yeah, it's kind of fun. It Wait, is. Wait, she and has to kill her soulmate. Yeah. Okay, who am I gonna give this point to? I don't know if I, I can give it like to. I, I was you. on the line. I was that. pretty good. I, I said they found line, Like, no, I think it was they Emma. Kill she, each other on the she, bridge. She said. <laughs> <laughs> she said something about killing, or right? I said killing. I said someone died. No, that I was said lost there's book, another actually. world, and they're warriors, and they have to kill the apocalyptic. Oh animals. no, you were very far off. 
You did not say animals. Okay, I'm gonna give that voice a voice. What? Two. Um, both of you were pretty far off. It's because of the Miley Cyrus sh okay. shirt that I'd like to thank. Shout out to Miley Cyrus. So the next book is Lady Midnight. Oh, this is like a Shadow Hunter book. It's your turn to go first. I don't know what happens, but. Um. <laughs> So she was asleep underwater. Conveniently, <laughs> she has her sword with her. So when she probably she fainted awakens, and she this like magical wizard. <laughs> we ever watch her Pirates up. of the Caribbean where she has the corset on and she like done. falls into the water? Okay, so the wizard wakes her up and then she like floats. The sword breaks through the ice. Everyone's like, oh, she's back. And then she goes and she kills the evil queen witch king. Okay. And destroys evil <laughs> okay so you can't read the back i'm not there's nothing on the back it's a hardcover <laughs> book it's on the inside no, so many points <laughs> okay. i'm looking at the back so i read city of bones you can't just guess from the front stop <laughs> uh, i'm so i don't Where's know your I, imagination so, <laughs> not here <laughs> what i said is i read the city of bones so it's that same cinematic universe i think i don't really know i think like She's probably a shadow hunter or something. Um, and. I have a new one. <laughs> um, Lady Midnight, I don't know. She's probably one of the shadow hunter people. Yeah, a shadow hunter novel. So, shadow <laughs> hunters. <laughs> What the hell did you actually look at the red cover? Uh, That's cheating. I it says, says Shadow Hunters. I'm trying to play, but um, I'm properly. There's probably at least that one gay dude in here at least once. You know who I'm talking oh, about? Alec? Yeah. <laughs> um, I watched I part of the TV show on Netflix. TV show sucks. It's really bad. It, I just kept cringing. Um, and she's probably... Is this Clarice? No. I think it's her mom. Um, and her mom was dead, but now they're... Oh my god, yeah. Out of that it could pool be the that mom. they walk through Does the Does Clarice have court? parents? I think it's Clary. It's Clary. Oh, Clary. Well, whatever her name is. She's going for I feel like she probably, whoever this is, it's she. It's because I, I feel like she's not. I feel like she's not actually in water in the book. Shelf keeps shaking. You I feel like she's not right? actually in the water. I feel like the water is supposed to symbolize like some struggle. And I feel like she like fall like the water is like she follows in it and she's like trying to like shh, and like something inside of her has to like wake up. And like swim to the top and then like when she gets to the top she's like reborn again or something um and she draws a lot of shadow hunter symbols on her <laughs> that's the that's what i think well it obviously is a shadow hunter novel this one what you just said about the water i know i'm pretty sure it, it's to one scene where okay so this one actually has parabati i don't know if i say that right so it's that? like um where you pledge yourself to another person and you like when they die you die, like when they fight like you know and she pledged herself to julian her best friend since childhood but then they start to fall in love and they have to like, deal with that and alec is in it actually <laughs> so that's pretty good um i'm so sorry I'm, like, no i feel like i don't get this one because like, i read like a book and a half of the series this one yeah I, no well i read well is this, the, this book and then i did city of ashes for a book study like in clary grade. and jace come in it but it's not even them i did a book Emma study Carson. on city of ashes for grade 10. well <laughs> sure i'll give it to them but i don't want your trump chair <laughs> okay well nobody gets nobody it nobody gets the point even though you both were decently close well, then I'll take the point. Okay. If I was close. You were. I mean, but if I'm as closer. Yeah. I know, I'm amazing. So, this is the next book, The Darkest <laughs> Star. Do I go first? Uh, sure. I will say, I feel while. like I have an unfair advantage because I took, <laughs> I took a literary class. Don't lean on this, it's unstable. I took two literary classes. <laughs> Stop <laughs> reading on me. I took two literary classes, so I'm. I don't think you're gonna be able to guess what this one is. Um, if you listen to me, you have a better chance. Star. Does okay. One question, not that it'll like give much, but does the title have to do anything with the book, or yeah. is it kind of like they just randomly have one line? Ooh, that the they title say? always has something to do with the book. Not always. Yeah, most of the time. The tale of Despero? Who's Despero? The, the mouse. The mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm joking. Joking. I didn't do that. <laughs> um. Stop reading on the shelf. Um, can I read that? No. 
It's just, you can't. I'm looking it's at just, the barcode. Why? I don't know, maybe that'll tell me something. Take, just take a guess. Um, I really don't know. I feel like she's probably like a wizard and she, well, I'm assuming the protagonist is a girl for some reason. Maybe they're not. They could be a guy or non-binary or maybe they use neo pronouns. I don't know. Um, <laughs> They probably, they probably have like some dark magic or something. Um, I feel like they're probably, I feel like there's like something about, there's probably at least one scene where they um, are part of a circus. Not necessarily that <laughs> in the circus, but I feel like they're at a circus at one point in this book. <laughs> okay. Um, That's the vibes, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think they're um <laughs> this is about witches that take power from a dark star that fell to the earth and then <laughs> and then they gotta keep it a secret that they're witches because people hate witches. Mortals are yeah, fuck don't like mortals. witches. They're actually called muggles in this book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And um, Dumbledore does make an appearance. What are you doing? I'm not a muggle. Wingardium Leviosa. Very distracting. You keep trying to upstage <laughs> me. I don't know who to give this to. You both are very off. It is about aliens. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The circus is- well, I think I'm gonna give it to Emma because it's for sure- as well. It has- there is some powers in it, but it's like alien powers, but it's closer than them going to a circus, so. Well, I just thought that they were like, it's a fighting scene and they run through a circus or something. What? Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why go that specific? I, no, I just kind of got the vibe that I thought that that happened. You ever read Midnight Circus or whatever it's called? I think so. Yeah. That's, I, it felt the like it was circus? like that. Yeah. yeah. felt like it, it was like that. that good. I only read the first four chapters. So the next book is The House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City. Um, I think it's Emma's turn to go first. Okay, so I think it's about these... I talked about this one. Guardian people. I forget what they're called, but they have wings, and they like to do things while they're flying. <laughs> Inappropriate like, things. Oh. That's not um, the series. <laughs> yes, it is. What do you mean? It's by the same girl. Same author can write different series. <laughs> Okay, I would like to retract that statement and <laughs> start again. Um, what's it called? House of Earth and Blood. Okay, so there's like different kingdoms, and this kingdom is the kingdom of Earth and Blood. So they like to fight on Earth. Okay. War, <laughs> war is a big thing in this book, and she's the princess, and she has a raven and the city is crumbling because of is that the raven danger yeah maybe a crow <laughs> it's 100 percent a raven and she has to save her kingdom from crumbling during the night because it's the moon <laughs> okay <laughs> so, so i'm thinking something completely different I feel um, like this is maybe, I feel like, so there's probably like a class system in this book and there's like the house of earth and blood and then that's like either she's in that house or like that's kind of like the nickname of the house she's in or something. And like the house, no, not like that. I'm thinking houses in like a completely different establishment not like a school where they're separated like mm -hmm. completely oh, okay. different establishments yeah and i think um there's probably like some there's like people who are like the headmasters or not like it's not a school but i feel like there's like the princesses or princes or kings or queens of those houses or something and they all kind of like talk to each other and they all kind of like don't get along but they all kind of have like problems with each other but then they all kind of like pretend like they get along like when they have holidays and they have suppers and then they have like dances and something in like their like big castles and whatever um but then I feel like she's probably like I feel like the house system in general is pretty corrupt and I think <laughs> <laughs> I feel like half of this I said you're just going way more into detail did you say this I was not listening she I said the first part of it so not the the first and I part. feel like something's like corrupt about it and she's going to like go fix it and then i feel like she probably gets betrayed by someone um she's like 
fixing it with someone and then they're like bye peace out actually no or like or she ends up falling into like some big scheme and she's like f fucked over by the king or something like she she's like trying to overthrow the king or whatever and then she like blah 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 and she like does this whole thing and she thinks that nobody knows about it it's all secretive and then she like gets to the end and she's like i'm just about done the, my plan or whatever and she's about to like end whatever kingdom problem situation but then the king like pops out and it's like you think i didn't know about this i do <laughs> and then her whole plan is foiled and it was all part of the king's plan originally but then there's just like a big duel to the death and then somehow it ends up being fixed even though logically it shouldn't have been Oh. I feel like she said like five different ones. No, then, I like, switched up the one. Uh, the one I started saying is okay. not the one I want. That okay, one. Okay, so you guys at the beginning, you were very, like, right on track. There is different house systems. House of Earth and Blood is like the humans, fairies, that kind of stuff. I said they fight on Earth because they're Earth people. I know, and you were right up until he kept going. Like the king and princess and princess concept is way off, but the concept underlying that, how someone betrays her and how she's going along with this plan, but. It's not really a plan so basically her best friend gets murdered by a demon and they tell her that she has to figure out who did it but actually they knew the whole time because they did gonna, it are you gonna give a spoiler alert for your video oh yeah i will <laughs> um and anyway you got the point just from the end of you rallying on <laughs> thank you i'll be back take oh. way That's longer three. well i just i was getting a lot of whatever from it. oh up there I think he knows what it is. Which one? <laughs> I don't fucking know what happens in the Hobbit. I don't either. I don't read. <laughs> I don't either. Okay, so this one's gonna be a good point for Emma. Let's do the Hobbit. You can go first. Oh. Okay, you stand in the first. They have breakfast, second breakfast, lunch, <laughs> second lunch, and dinner, and second dinner. At least we know he listens to us. <laughs> That's it. That's all you're gonna say? Oh wait, there's like small people and they live in a little like hidden little grass looking house thing. Can I just give it the point that I'm already? <laughs> no. Hang on. no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on, I need to... What are you doing? Pretend this is a big staff. <laughs> Thou shalt not pass! <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is just my best guess. So, <laughs> there's this great wizard he um is it the hobbit? wants to save this ancient king no, oh wait wait can i add one more thing can i add one, one more thing no, you there's can't. rings no. and they throw them in a volcano no that's actually no, that's, that's actually one. not right it's oh. lord of the rings oh. anyway so the wizard wants to help the dwarves of the ancient kingdom take back their kingdom from a maybe a dragon um so he decides mm -hmm. that this little dwarf no um it's a baggins Oh, it's like literally a, a hobbit. It's a hobbit. <laughs> oh, I think you said a big guy. So no, like... and I think his name's like Billigan Baggins. <laughs> Bilbo. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to pretend I don't know about it. Why? <laughs> Why? I just didn't say about fair. it. And then they want him because he's sneaky quiet. <laughs> and sneaky quiet. <laughs> there's elves that are just beautiful people in my head. They are. In all I feel like heads. elves are beautiful. They, they are really are. I would be an elf. And I then, feel like um, they're is though. <laughs> and then there's this evil guy who killed Thorin's dad, but it didn't really kill Thorin's dad. Then Thorin cut off his like knee or something. Just the knee. It was some like kind of little there. ligament. It was the arm. It was his arm. It was the orc. The white the, the white the pale orc. orc. The See, you're pale giving her orc. Hints. She knows it. We just and... watched it like a month ago. Oh. <laughs> and he but then Killy died <laughs> and nothing makes sense anymore <laughs> okay so the point goes to emma ding 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 i was pretty good i mean yeah you listen can we do harry us. potter i don't know anything i don't have them it. here oh <laughs> <laughs> okay so there's this is a bind up of two books just the first book. i don't i the, looking at this book this is a book i would never read I know, so you, you have to guess it. it. You told me oh, when yeah, I talked about this. So my eye is so itchy. The Lux series is one of my favorites. Look at it, though. You can't read the back. It's got an alien vibe. Really? <laughs> yeah, Keep going. I do. Got an alien. Um, so there's people who have like alien powers inside them, and those are the Lux. And then there's the Obsidians, who are just people. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> And, um, 
they're on Earth. Is this a fantasy book? Yep. Um, really? The covers suck, I know. <laughs> She's the main character. Her boyfriend is an alien that only I've talked about this book so many down. times. <laughs> because his feet are sticky. <laughs> <laughs> he went on the like roof. a fly. Yeah, and he couldn't get down. Because he's not from Earth, <laughs> yes. so he doesn't understand ceilings. <laughs> um, but she gets over that, and she still falls in love. And then <laughs> she... Um, she was like, I can't do the sticky feet. <laughs> and then um, there's the aliens who are not nice try to invade so the lux aliens are like here like take some power you're actually our lux queen <laughs> and then they introduce her to her real father he has like tentacle beard because he's an alien <laughs> yeah, and like, she's like no way why don't i look like you then they go <laughs> and then she reveals her true form she looks in the mirror and then she has an identity crisis oh. but she pulls it together and then in the, the book end. ends no oh. no this is oh. the second book maybe but oh. then she pulls it together and um, she fights the evil. Okay. okay. I feel like it seems like it's, um... There's seven in the oh. frame left. I feel like it's based in, like, London. Um, just because the cover's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... What if you don't have any followers from London? <laughs> no, I don't know. It just seems very London-looking from, like... 2010. Okay. And what do you think the actual book is about? <laughs> um, like, it's based in London, I can tell you that. Um, it's about this person, the, the girl. Um, <laughs> um, and like, <laughs> oh, this is why you're talking with the guy <laughs> upside down. I was like, you thought I pulled that out yeah, of nowhere? I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> the imagination. Um, I was originally, I was going to say it's like probably like high school. That's what I get from the cover. But you said it's fantasy. I mean, it still could be fantasy. She's, I feel like she's just a normal girl. But then something crazy happens and she's ripped from her normal life. Um, mm -hmm. And then she has to like fight evil. And then she finds out that she's given powers or she has powers. Or like maybe she doesn't have powers. She's just a human that like, uh, I feel like, I feel like she's, she has powers. She has powers definitely. She gets given powers, or like she just discovers in herself that she has powers, or something, and then she fights the sticky foot guy. This is all sounding very familiar. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just that's this person, not this. Like I don't think he has sticky feet. She but fights that's the how sticky we know. Feet guy. That's how we sticky know foot. of him. Or oh my God. actually, and I think because. I know this because your your favorite trope is enemies to lovers. So I think this is her. <laughs> he her I think this is her enemy. <laughs> he was. But the then enemy. they. He I think the they. Alien. And then they fall in love, um, and I think that they, they fall in love, um, but I feel like they don't say this in the book. But this is what I think. That I think there's always some underlying tension, and I think they're gonna have to go to like couples therapy later on, because <laughs> they're not gonna be able to trust each other. They were working for different sides, and they wanted to kill each other. Different so, sides of what? Something. Okay. Yeah. So the winner is uh, yours was decent, but Emma got the aliens and all that stuff because she's heard sticky me talk feet. about it. Okay, <laughs> why does the sticky feet? Part? Tentacle beard. <laughs> That's what I mean. After she went off, it was off, but she got like the aliens and like she does get powers and stuff. So the next magic. book is Celtic Myths and Tales. Do I go first on this one? Who goes? I go first. You want to go first? Uh, you went first last time with Did the I? sticky feet. <laughs> so, um, I think, is this the reason that you started listening to that Celtic rock band? No, I started listening to them way before. Oh. Um, I think Celtic? <laughs> we said that same. It's Celtic. Celtic. Celtic gods. Celtic myth <laughs> mythology. Um, I don't know anything about Celtic mythology. But I think it's about that. Um, where's is Celtic like Irish? Yeah. So I, Irish. They talk. They talk like that. Um, and yeah. no, 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 no. There's like, um, and people worship them and probably sacrifice stuff for gods and stuff. And then there's also heroes. I can't tell you anything specifically about them. <laughs> But okay. there's probably one that is like in a lock. 
as in like a lake. What? Wait, oh, you think yeah. it's the Loch Ness monster. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's probably one that talks about Loch Ness or Nessie, and it probably talks about Nessie get discovering getting discovered. I'm assuming it's like a collection of different stories. Mm -hmm. It's like a whole bunch, and like each chapter is like something else, or like maybe there's a few that are like multiple chapters. Okay. But um. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> He just goes on till he gets it right. <laughs> like I do. It was all collect, co like it was one big thing. I think it's a wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a collection of Celtic myths and tales and short stories. <laughs> yeah, and they're epic. Right. <laughs> I literally said that. But like, and then made me pick that one. <laughs> What? I actually thought it was the Brothers Grimm one, and I thought he'd be like, do you know what the Brothers Grimm is? Okay, there's just one more we're doing. I thought maybe Who he'd wins be like, it? Emma. <laughs> Why? I literally said that. You both get half a point. So this will be the... The determining one. Yeah. So this book, Lore, by Alexander Bracken. So I think it's Emma, Emma first. Emma first. Okay, so I think Medusa plays a big part. Oh, shut up. I literally was just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it has a lot of Greek mythology in it, and it's about the gods... Um, maybe children or offspring the gods come down and I think maybe they try to like kill off their offspring because I don't know maybe like the offspring try to overthrow them or like take their powers or so then the gods want to kill the offspring they don't like offspring why they keep making them maybe Good it'll point. explain Good point. <laughs> but yeah and I think they it's based on a few main people but like okay. they're trying to kill their god parents. now for the right answer i think it's about a girl who has sex with poseidon um but poseidon? then yeah but Ooh. then whoever poseidon's like dating or married gets mad at, at um oh, that for I happening and then curses her with snake hair <laughs> i'm then... literally doing the story of medusa <laughs> yeah but then medusa has kids um oh. and this is her her daughter this is Medusa's daughter, and she just wants to live a normal life, but she can't. And so she, her life's completely different, and she's, she doesn't have anyone to confide in. But then she ends up being the good person because Medusa is normally like the bad person, but she ends up being like a good person or whatever. She's considered a hero. Um, she's she's reclaiming the story of Medusa, and she probably gets bullied, and people are like, Medusa, snake girl. <laughs> And okay. that's it. That's what I gotta say. Okay, How right so do you think you are? I think I, like, <laughs> I'm pretty right, I think. Okay, so Emma nailed this one on the head. So she actually What did she even say? To... I literally didn't so listen to a single word. So this is what happens. So <laughs> it's actually based in the 21st century in New York, but what happens is every seven years the gods come down and they lose their powers and you can kill them and get their powers. And it's basically you go for the yeah. <laughs> the person who's your house. You basically try to get, kill, like, your godparent, I guess it's called. Um... And yeah, Emma actually listened to me when I talked about this book, I You're guess. You're surprised, so aren't you? You didn't Absolutely. talk to started, me about this book. I, I started, started going, yeah. and then I was like, I don't well, know. Well, I still didn't get one. this hint. Wait, so Emma, so I'll tally up all the points, see who wins. I literally have 0. 0.5 more of a point than Emma. BT Whatever. Does. We'll think. I'm going to double check everything. <laughs> So thanks for watching. Thank you guys for helping me out. This was fun. <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button. And Follow I'm me on TikTok. Stop. <laughs> I make videos every week. See you guys next week. You can. Bye. Bye. <laughs>